Yo, what is up guys, Coleman1 here, and I'm back today bringing you another After Effects tutorial, and this week it's going to be continuing my series of underrated effects within After Effects. This week we're going to be taking a look at Twirl, I'm going to just show you an example. Not sure you saw that, but it's, pretty, it's this effect, you can kind of see it here. You can see that the scope is pretty much all twirled, and it looks pretty clean. I like it especially with the ACOG M4801 from COD4, and it looks really cool, and let's just get right into this. Pretty simple. So over in After Effects, I have my clip here, and I don't have a song or anything, I just have my clip and some color correction. It's the same clip I used in that edit. And you just want to go right to your shot, and I'm just going to turn off the color correction. So now we just have the clip, and what you're going to want to do is make a new adjustment layer by hitting Option Command Y or Control uh, Alt Y on a PC. You can also go up to Layer New Adjustment Layer. It's all the same. And I'm going to put that underneath my color correction and rename that Twirl. I'm also going to press option begin bracket and that's gonna so that's gonna cut it to where my cursor was. So now you're just gonna want to search up uh, twirl and drag that onto the adjustment layer. And now if you see um, the twirl the spin or the angle, I'm sorry, you can see that it automatically starts to twirl. And what you're gonna want to do is first find a setting that you like and we're also gonna have to change the twirl radius. Now the twirl center is automatically right in the center and that's what we want because we're putting it inside the scope. So that's alright for now but if you were doing something different you could always change that just by changing this twirl center value. So uh, what we're going to want to do is first let's put this angle at around, it's really up to you, 90, maybe 180 doesn't look too bad but as you can see that even the kill feed and Everything is kind of twirled, and you can even see some black up on the top of the clip. So what you want to do is change the radius to, I like it just in the inside of the scope. So right there, you can see it's just in the inside of the scope, and it looks really distorted and really cool at the same time. So now, you're also going to want to keyframe the angle, and you could also key, keyframe the radius or the twirl center, but uh, I think I'm just going to keep it like this for now. And then you're going to want to press U on your keyboard so you can see all your keyframes. And uh, go mm, 20, 20 or so keyframes, maybe less. And bring this back down to zero. So now what you're going to have is this nice twirl right on the shot. And it's going to fade. The twirl is going to slowly go, fade out after 20 keyframes. And it looks really cool, especially when it's unscoping. You can see it kind of looks all distorted. And I actually like the look. It looked pretty good in my all that edit. Now, some other tips. If you would just have it just play like this, it would look all right. But um, for first, you want to definitely turn on your color correction. But that, that's obvious. But as a nice transition, you can make a new adjustment layer by doing the same thing. And drag it under the color correction and trim it. And I'm going to rename this Flash. Now, there's a couple options you could do here. Uh, levels is always a good choice. You could also do um, light burst. A lot of people use that. You could even do shine, like in my previous tutorial. And I did that a lot in my um, my all that edit. If you see, this blue cotton candy field, that's all with trap code shine. So I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that effect on the shot. So I'm gonna change the transfer mode in the shine plugin to overlay. A lot of people use add, but I like overlay these days. And it looks pretty cool. And you want to go to colorize. And instead of three color gradient, one, well you could choose your own colors, but I believe the one I used that made it all blue was pastel. So now if you come over here, now turn off the color correction just so you can see it a little better. You see it's really nice. It's blue bluish pink, it's like pastel colors, it looks kind of cotton candy-ish. With this color correction, it's a little bit different than the one I used in the actual edit, so I'm going to change the colors up a little bit. Uh, oh, you know what, I believe this is the one I used, Lysergic. Yeah, that one I think is what I used in the edit, yeah, much, much more blue. And with the color correction, it looks really nice too. 
So I'm going to use that one. So what you want to do is source uh, shine opacity, keyframe that, and go maybe 30 frames and put that down to zero. Now just one more thing, I'm also going to add a levels, just just a little bit. And what levels does is just exposure and keyframe the histogram and drag this one on the right, just drag it in until it's a little bit brighter, and then go 30 frames and drag it back out, and you'll see it gets darker. So it's just a flash. And I'm going to trim these two adjustment layers using the option end bracket, and then we just have this neat uh, two adjustment layers, which gives you a cool, pretty, a pretty cool effect, especially with the twirl. It looks really nice, and I really do like it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This for this time, it was pretty simple, and I know I've been a little inactive because I've been working on a pretty cool edit. Here's gonna be a quick preview. I'll show you. Just go to my Yazo. This is what you're gonna be seeing pretty soon. That's just a quick preview. I hope you guys enjoy this look. Um, I'm having a lot of fun making it. It's something new for me. You'll see what it is soon. Yeah, but as for the tutorial, I hope you're having a, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, uh, please leave a like rating on this video. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.